No fish there. Get in there. It was mid-September and a perfect night for college football. Welcome to Grounding Stadium on the campus of St. John Fisher College for tonight's big college football game, the Courage Bowl. Welcome home. We're home, baby. Come on, guys. It was a showdown between crosstown rival St. John Fisher and the University of Rochester. A night to wear your colors, enjoy the excitement, and experience something special, the courage of kids fighting cancer. Each team had three honorary coaches and a cheerleader from Camp Good Days and Special Times, a camp for children battling life-threatening illnesses. The game matched the nationally ranked and heavily favored Cardinals against the 0-2 Yellow Jackets. The first half started the way many expected. Kramer, give it to Hanson, straight up the middle, runs in, it's a touchdown, Ryan Hanson. It was 7-0 St. John Fisher after one. In the second, the Cardinals struck from the air. Rob Kramer to Jimmy Smith. Caught, touchdown, Jimmy Smith. Camp Good Day's founder, Gary Mervis, is also a St. John Fisher assistant coach. And late in the half, Coach Mervis and the Cardinals added to their lead. Kramer to Tim Marion. It was 20 to nothing with only 27 seconds left. But on a night honoring courage, the U of R battled back, starting with a last second miracle from the autumn sky in the final seconds of the half. U of R touchdown! He caught it on the tip! It was 20 to seven at the break. In the third quarter, Fisher kicked a field goal to make it 23-7. Then the U of R resumed its comeback. But over the middle, and it is caught. It's a touchdown. Pedro Sosa for the U of R. A two-point conversion made it 23-15. Early in the fourth, another big play for the Yellow Jackets, this time on defense. It's intercepted at the six, at the five, touchdown, U of R! Jim Milk's interception return made it 23-21. The 20-point Fisher lead was now only two. But unbeaten St. John Fisher answered the challenge. Kramer delivered his third strike of the game to Jimmy Smith again. The lead was back to nine. Another late touchdown made the final score 37-21 St. John Fisher. Yeah. It was a great game for the fans and the spectators and uh, a good day, a good game for Camp Good Days. And we know when we walk off of here, we gotta keep our heads high and remember that it is a game, um, but it's a special game. You know what I mean? It does a lot for a lot of people. The Courage Bowl, that's what it is. You never give up, man. It's, it's a fight. That's what it's about. Never quit. These kids played their heart out. They're true student athletes, and they've helped to give our kids at Camp Good Days one some recognition that all of these football players were playing this game tonight and dedicating it to them. And then for our honorary coaches and cheerleaders, it was an opportunity to really be part of a college football game up close and personal, something that they might not otherwise ever have the opportunity to do. It meant to me. I could go somewhere and be active with real life football players and with the cheerleaders. <laughs> what do you think of Camp Good Days, special times? Um, I've been going there for three years. Uh, it's really a fun time. Does it mean a lot to you? It does. Um, it means a uh, tremendous amount to me. Why? I don't know. Any reasons? Yeah, it's just very important to you. The third annual Courage Bowl, a night for our true champions.